Hey fam, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I just first like to start off by thanking every single one of you that have subscribed, um, left a comment, watched the last video, reached out to me personally. I'm super grateful. Thank you so much. Um, today, I will be sharing my encounters with fasting and just three specific ones. Um, I did a 100 day fast in 2014. In 2022 that was the very first time i did a 21 day fast it was like a juice and smoothie fast um although towards the end i think the last three days i had salad and then last year i did a three-day esther fast so no food no water and these are like i mean i've done other fasts here and there but these are um three specific fasts that the lord will have me share the encounters that i had so stick around, don't go anywhere. In 2014, I was in my final year in Covenant University and I was so distraught. Like I, I did not know what I was going to do in my life. And a couple of people would have heard me share this before. Um, I was so desperate. I'm like, Lord, I cannot leave this university without knowing where you're taking me or knowing what's next for my life backstory my brother chose the course that i had read in school and i just asked him oh daddy wants me to go to covenant i'm a science student you're also in science um, department right so what's the easiest course for me to read in school and he was like ah management information system guys it was not easy <laughs> I was just cramming to pass and to be honest that's why I'm so passionate about what I do with secondary school students and getting them to see the importance of um, like guiding them to life at the university and the importance of knowing what they're going into school for so not just choosing a random course or um, going with their friends or being under pressure and whatnot um, so let me not digress back to this fast um, that year 2014 was when Pastor Dewe, my spiritual father, um, I attend the Redeemed Christian Church of God. He had called for a 100 days fast. So he's like, the Lord will have us do a 100 days fast this year. Now, the Lord helped me. I don't know, like prior to that, I don't even remember fasting in my life. But that was like a moment I knew that I had to seize thanks to the Holy Spirit. So I began this fast. Guys, I lost so much weight, but that's aside the point. Now, during this fast, two great things happened. During the fast, for the very first time in my dreams, I could see. Prior to then, every other dream I had before this year, when I was 21, because I was 21 in 2014, um, I used to be blind. Wow, this is 10 years ago. Wow. Yeah, so in my dreams, I was always blind in my dreams, but I didn't know that that had like spiritual meaning or anything. I just assumed, oh, maybe because in the physical, I wear glasses. So maybe that's why I cannot see in my dream. Because in the dreams, I didn't used to wear glasses. So just imagine, that's what I thought. During this fast, for the very first time, my eyes were opened in my dream. And the Holy Spirit helped me see that my spiritual, like he helped me understand that Biola, now your spiritual eyes have been opened. And you know when we have some prayers sometimes that we say, oh, um, let my eyes be open to seeing what you will have me see. Sometimes we don't take it seriously. We just, oh, that's what they're asking me to pray. So let me pray it. But guys, we do have spiritual eyes. We have sight in the spirit realm. And it wasn't until that moment that my eyes were open. Now, I don't remember what particular day I had gone on in this fast. But this fast was from January till about April, if I'm not mistaken. But in the course of that, that was the first encounter that I had. My spiritual eyes were open. The second encounter, um, our chaplain at the time in school, Pastor Ada Sonia, she had called a meeting for final year students. And she was like, some of you here, I mean, it wasn't even all of us that attended it, but because the, the um, chapel was so scanty. And she's like, some of you are here. You don't know what's next in your life. Remember, before the fast, I was in a desperate place, but God, I'm going to graduate in June. I don't know what I'm going to do in my life. I don't know what you're calling me to do, what you're calling me to do. This course I read, I had no interest in it. I was just coming to pass. Now, when she said that, she's like, I need you guys to pray. Let the Lord 
open your eyes let him let you in on where he's taking you to remember i told you he had opened up my eyes my spiritual eyes before before this um, particular day so the lord did set the course of my life he called for that fast then he opened my spiritual eyes then he made sure i was at the chapel that day because guys that was the very first time i had an open vision now my eyes were open my mom used to tell me when i was growing up um that oh Bella, when i gave birth to you the lord opened my eyes and i saw you standing speaking to this really vast crowd i didn't believe her because i'm like yeah my mother ha, you will wish good good things for me now so <laughs> i didn't believe her but guys in that moment i prayed this was 2014 this was i can't remember what when exactly this prayer was but it was during the fast it was the end of the fast and then i prayed i'm like lord very genuine prayer short i don't know where next like i don't know what to do with my life when i leave school but i don't want like i don't want my life to be wasted please place me where you would have me instantly my eyes were closed but then i had an open vision and like like immediately after the prayer like immediately after i said those words in my heart i wasn't even praying out i saw like i saw myself standing in a vast stadium like you know how when you're watching football of uh, um like i don't know football in like another country like what you see on sites in really large stadiums right that's how i saw myself that was where i saw myself speaking to this really vast um, large, large amount of crowd that i couldn't count and that was it it was less than three seconds that was it and that has been one thing that has kept me going all of these years now the instruction the holy spirit now gave me after that vision was it wasn't immediately it was a couple of days after that i should not work my nysc i should allow him place me where he would place me now so many temptations came oh because i got posted to anambra anambra state and then that was when um, um governor peter obi was the gov was um he, that was um, when he was in office and there were a lot of kidnappings here and there in the news so people were really worried and i bless god for my parents because they didn't let that disturb them it was other people <laughs> friends parents of friends uncles here blah 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 um cousins oh don't go to anambra ah kidnapping is going on there this one is happening my parents supported me bought my aero contractors tickets sent me to anambra state and i also knew like i had this friend um her mom had meant had told me that um oh let her work it for me to lagos but i'm like i ah, know mom that this is what the lord would have me do so i went to anambra and guys that is what set the course of my life just set it off now that's the first fast and i'll quickly go to the second one um the second one was in um 2022 now in the middle of those other years i don't know that fast but these are the three that the lord will have me share um the 2022 fast daddy pasadiboy had called for a 50-day fast but he had said if you want to do 21 day dry you're open to doing that i've never done a dry fast in my life so i'm like you know what lord let me do let me take smoothies and juices instead so i did that and this time around the lord showed me where he was going to place me to work in three different dreams he also showed me that there was a friendship i cherished all my life and he's like this friendship is going to break and this is what is going to happen now also during that fast um he would cause people to call me for prayers i would pray with them and instantly the things we prayed for would happen i would be going out and maybe there's like a fly or something disturbing me i will speak <laughs> I'm not joking like my friends who i shared things with me like several encounters but these are just the like i could speak to animals and things and nature and they would hear what i like i feel like that year i generated so much power in the spirit and that was the lord letting me on the power of fasting now i'll quickly move to the third one and then i'll share two scriptures the third one was last year 2023 december he had caused me to go on the Esther fast because I was in a place of confusion. I was just like, Lord, I need to know what to do about this. I need to know what to do about that. And he caused me, he prompted me to go on this fast. Now, before I went on the fast, I'd been reading a book, Atomic Habit by James Clare. And on the very first day of the fast, no, the night before I even began the fast, he threw one of my friends, Jachima, he um, had led me to joined the reboot camp of celebration church cci now i joined the reboot camp 
for the three days I was doing the fast and every single thing Apostle Aaron would share were things that the Lord had let me on let me in on before the fast even began. So the very day of the of reboot camp, he was talking about how the Lord wanted us to, wanted us to work on our on our insides and our habits, and um, he even recommended Atomic Habit, the books the book I was reading, and I saw that really it is not even the amount of days. So just in case you are watching this and you're like, oh my gosh, Viola did hundred days fast. Let me go and do my own. No, it was the fast that was called by my spiritual father. So if you're in a church and your pastor has called for a fast and he's giving you the amount of days, whether it's three days, whether it's one day, whether it's seven days, do it faithfully. Be faithful to it. You're fasting unto God. You're not fasting so people can clap for you or give you accolades or you say, oh, I'm on this fast. And it doesn't even matter the type of fast. It was... Um, the 100 day fast, I was breaking every day. The other fast, it was me that was just like, okay, you know what? Let me do something different this time around. And then the Esther fast, the Lord himself did guide me to do that one. And you can see the difference, right? Each of those fasts, I still had encounters with the Lord. So it's not necessarily the number of days, except if the Holy Spirit is instructing you. But by all means, please go by what your pastor is saying because I was obedient to what my spiritual father said. 100 days that was the instruction he got from the lord 21 days um, um dry fast or 50 days that was what he got from the lord and what the lord caused me to do in december as well so over the last over these three fasts i can see that first the lord wanted to deal with my future where he would have me be where he was calling me to do right and that was because i also desired to be in his will for my life now the second fast he was letting me in on what was going to happen with my career in that season. He had even let me in on a friendship that was going to break three months. Like during that 21 days fast, I could see things in the future. I could see what was happening. The, first, the very first fast, he opened up my spiritual eyes, which is very important to this life that we're living. So he took me, he sorted out things in the spirit, sorted out things concerning my destiny, continued sorting that out and then began to the final fast that i, I talked about he, he began to deal with me on my insides what you guys don't see viola you cannot gossip viola you can't hold offense in your heart no you still have a little you still have a bit of bitterness towards this thing that happened right so i'm sharing this because the lord will have me share it and i don't want you to be focused on oh i need to have this encounter with the lord this that that yes desire to have the encounter with the lord but when you're fasting if you decide to fast if you've never even fasted before let this be it whatever issue that you're facing right now key your fast into that either you you and the holy spirit can decide or you can even decide on how many days you want to go and see through it or you can go with your church's fast and see through it and the lord will meet you the lord will meet you and truly the two scriptures that i'll quickly share because i see i've it's a bit over 13 minutes now. Um, the first is in Luke. Luke 9.29. Scripture says, So Jesus said to them, This kind this kind can come out by nothing but prayer and fasting. The second um, scripture is, So yes, there's a place of prayer, and there's also a place of prayer and fasting. Um, Isaiah 58 verse 69. The, um, scripture just talks about the type of fast that God is pleased with. So you're not fasting and then you're gossiping. You're not fasting and then you're bullying people or withholding people's pay. I'll just read a bit of it. It says, this is the kind of fast that I'm after, to break chains of injustice, to get rid of exploitation in the workplace, to free the oppressed, cancel debt. And then God is saying, what I'm interested in seeing you do is sharing your food with the hungry, inviting the homeless poor into your homes, putting on clothes on the shivering ill-clad, being available to your own families. Do this, and then, excuse me, he will turn on the, he will turn the light, lights on. Your lives will turn around at once, and then he begins to talk about different things. Um, that if we get rid of unfair practices, blaming victims, if we quit gossiping about other people's sins, if we're generous to the hungry, 
He begins to tell us what he will do. We will be a well-watered garden. We, we would have firm muscles, strong bones. We will be known as those who can fix anything, restore old ruins, rebuild and renovate, make the community livable again. He just talks about so many great things, right? So truly, if you want to fast, I would employ the you or I would encourage you to read Isaiah 58. I'll put the scripture in the description box as well. Please, 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 let's take this season seriously. What I did in 2014 is what set me off and is why I'm making this video because two years after that fast, I got a grant to go to America, New York Film Academy. That's where I learned how to edit, record, make documentaries and whatnot. And that has what, that's what has helped my career all of these years. So guys, I love you so much. The Lord loves you more. Um, take advantage of this season. Take advantage of this season. You're setting off years on years of your life by what you do now. Take advantage of this season. Till my next video, grace and peace. Thank <laughs> you.